Microsoft Word has got a brilliant editor built into it. It checks grammar and spelling and all kinds of other cool things. Let me show you how it works. Open in front of me is a Word document and you can go to the Review tab. There you'll find the Editor and the Editor pane will open up. Now here you can choose whether you want formal, professional or casual writing. And you can see that it picked up 10 spelling mistakes. And you can choose if you would like to ignore them or if you'd like to maybe change them. You can go through all of them. It picked up three grammar issues and it suggests that I add a hyphen. So you can go through them as well. My clarity was good. It didn't have any suggestions with regards to that. Conciseness, it had a few suggestions to make things a bit more concise. Also useful suggestions. Um, punctuation and conventions. And vocabulary. And here you can check for the similarity to other online sources. So you can check similarity and it will tell you, and it told me that 2% of my text is similar to online sources. And you can look at the similarities reviewed. Then it can give you document statistics. So it tells me that it's got 20 words, so many characters in the document. It's only talking about what I've highlighted, so make sure that you don't have anything highlighted. And it states that we are calculating the, st the stats for you, but it may take a few minutes. Let's say, okay, and we'll wait for it to come up. And here we get the readability stats. Word, number of words, characters, paragraphs, sentences. Sentences per paragraph, four. Words per sentence, characters per word. And it gives me the flesh reading ease a readability score and you can decide if this is good enough for you or if you want to make it better and it's a good idea to explore these reading scales a little bit further and to interpret it based on this. So enjoy using Word's built-in editor function right there under our fingertips. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. For more useful tips to boost your research experience, subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button below this video. And while you're at it, hit the bell so that you get notified whenever I produce a new video. If you need a solution to a challenge not yet covered on my channel, leave a comment in the box below. See you in the next video.